Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't know where to begin with this one. It looks like a Swedish cock phone, but it's not. Uh, it's, a, it's you college kids or older adults or whoever may be watching this video uh, know that this is a keg tap, a single action oh, reciprocating keg tap. And it's, uh, it's a little worse for the wear. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to take it apart and clean it or just take it apart. Uh, join me. Wait, I'm missing something. There you are. Huzzah! All right, so getting into the nitty gritty of her, um, you're gonna, it's, it's pretty basic, simple operation. You have a pumping system, so there's gonna be, a, obviously there's gonna be a um, source, of, source of compression in here somewhere. So you start at the top. You have a little, um, in the words of AVE, a little boon and O-ring right there with a, with neoprene and a little brass rod that uh, articulates back and forth, connected to a um, to a little end lock wall, uh, my lock wall. a little lock washer. Nine times out of ten. The, the unit will be pressurizing because this O-ring is bad. And to help it out a little bit, you can all, you can uh, sometimes stick vegetable oil down there and kind of, kind of leave the sides, make sure that this isn't cracked all the way through. And that will increase the amount of, of, of pull draw that is happening. So essentially you take this back and forth and pressure, seal, pressure, Intake, compression, intake, compression, intake, compression. It puts the look and TMI type. Uh, <laughs> um, basically, that's the, that, that's where you get the pressure from. Uh, internally, the unit is kind of it, it's it's actually very simplistic. To to name a few things, it's a um. I mean, if it was built in the 70s, it kind of had to be simplistic because they didn't really have the... It, so well, the 60s came before that, so they weren't necessarily mentally charged. Sorry for anyone who lived in the 60s. Insert clip from from uh, Cars 3. The 60s weren't good either. Okay. Oh! Luckily, my crotch caught that. So that's that, that. That's all the pressure system is. Uh, you have a little void in the middle of it. I can see that very well. I need to get more light in this place. Um, but it's two two O rings, an O ring on top side, O ring on the bottom side, and that, what that does, it keeps it keeps this pressure in when the keg system is tapped. So it keeps 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 uh, fluid fluid and air pressure from seeping past here so you don't get leaks. And then the beer shoots up through that little small orifice. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, concentrate, concentrate. There you are. It comes up through that little orifice on the far right, far or your rear south. And goes into that tube. So, if you wanted to increase that, increase the the volume of flow, you would want to drill a hole smack dab on the side and all the way down into it, and that would increase the amount of a flow going in through your um going in through your uh, lines. Pretty much that simple. Make sure you keep. Make sure you keep this clean. Make sure you keep that clean momentarily because you get a lot of crap and everything else in there. But if your if your beer is tasting bad and uh, or or your soda or or any kind of libation that's inside that thing, you're gonna want to check one of two things. You're gonna want to check here. You're gonna want to check right here. 
and you're going to want to most importantly check on the on on the actual delivery output unit, which is going to be this little little guy right there. See how it builds up all that crap right there, and what that does is the little valve seat it sits right on that tube section, and every time you press that in, the valve actuates up, valve pulls up, and locks into place to allow for better pouring. Now, if it smells funny, if it if it smells like a like a you know rotten rotten horse rotten Turkish bathhouse, so you're a little bit dyslexia right there, um, then you're gonna want to check inside your tube because uh, there's most likely gonna be buildup of you know whatever you have in there, and that's gonna that's gonna make everything not so not so taste good. <laughs> I come from the kid. I come from the place of where, where kids can't read good and stuff. But yeah, I mean that's that, that's pretty much it. Uh, one second. So you're faced with a crisis. Your buddy got drunk and high one night. Said, "Hey man, this tap system's not fucking working. I don't know what's going on with it." And you have a party going on, and you need to figure out how the F and A to put this part uh, to, to put this thing back together because you got tons of hot or well, whatever you're into coming over. So what do you do? Well, take a deep breath and take a lot of alcohol and hopefully you'll remember how, you'll remember this video. If not, just get drunk and uh, just get your buddy drunk and stoned and you know cognitive memory. He'll be will remember right off the bat. So basically, what you're gonna do. Let's take insert tap piece, face the tap towards the hole, right? So that, that direction towards there. Then you're going to take piece like, like this piece, I don't know what the fuck this is called, tap handle, tap pull down. And you're going to slide this in between the two. Now remember, keep this elevated uh, at a raised position and slide that down into this catch device. But here, here, here's the tricky part. Don't press this part in. You're, you're going to want to, but don't. And for God's sakes, if you lose this piece, you're kind of fucked, but, you're it, but you can use a, an old bolt on the side of the road or like I did a freaking bolt from, from a workshop. Unstick the ball. And you're essentially going to sell nice nicely screw it in but don't over tighten it because if you do that the, 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 the linear function won't work that's how that go, goes into goes into place now make sure w w when you do that it doesn't th this unit's free movement it's it, 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 it's supposed to be able to lock in full motion like that so out in out in out in extends release extends release this part, little, little, little tricky. Um, if this is fully broken down, um, normally these two are connected. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard to, to install. Um, make sure the little boon end right here, relief valve, is not split in half, or else we get no suction off of it. Uh, make sure that there, make sure that there's an O-ring right there. Uh, if you have to clean off the interior of it. Screw it back in in a righty tidy lefty lefty loosey motion, and Bob's your auntie. Um, it's enough with the uh, Swedish cock suction machine. Um, yeah. Mm, free air. Now I can't really help you if your buddy turned this into a bong either. That's that's beyond my control. In that case, just go to the store and buy some beer. Um, F and A.